Okay, we are discussing about scheduled apex. So what is scheduled apex? It's basically an apex class. So it's an apex class where you can schedule to run at a particular time. So for example, you want to run it every first of the month. Maybe you want to run a process to prepare something. In my case, I do run some scheduled um, batch. I scheduled a batch every first of the month to send out birthday cards to thousands of people that have in contact with our organization. And then we send out magazines and so on. So you can schedule any kind of task or any kind of code you want to schedule at any interval every week, every month, every year, specific dates of the month, specific time, the hour, and so on. It's totally um, customizable. So this is the shell. So global class, name your class, implement schedulable, and then on the execute part here, schedulable contacts, and then this is the variable name, CTX, or you can name it whatever you want, and you put your code, your awesome code over there. So that's pretty straightforward that's that's all there is to it so other than that you can just put your code and be creative so this is a sample code so basically the same shell but in the execute method um, we pull some opportunities and then we do the remind owners um, method from the task utils class and then we pass in the list of opportunities and then basically at the scheduled time, it will send reminders by creating a task for this opportunities, which is not yet closed, right? It's not closed yet. And the close date is less than today. So that's how you do it. So how can you use the system schedule method? So this is how you do it. This is basically this, the class, right? Remind opti owners. This is the schedulable class here. Remind opti owners, same thing. And then this is the name of the variable reminder, new remind opti owners, instantiate that. And then you define your cron or your schedule. This is the seconds, minutes, hours, day of the month, and then the month. So this is. February the 10th, 8.30, right? Question mark means it can run at any of, um, or it doesn't matter, all right? So then you can do a job ID system, schedule, you pass this, whatever you want to name that. And then the schedule, which is this schedule, and then the reminder, which is the actual class that you are scheduling. To run so you run it or you schedule it by system.schedule or you can also schedule it from the UI the user interface so let's actually I'm going to show you that real quick here I'm going to go to my hands on org go to my uh, resourceful raccoon was it raccoon that is resourceful haha <laughs> all right so go to apex classes and then you can schedule any class from there so i'm going to go to my setup over here setup pop that up and then i'm going to go apex class apex classes and from here you can choose the class you want to schedule so so schedule apex over here that button there and then you, you define the job name, you choose the class, right? Then basically, you just search for anything. Well, I don't know. Um, task. Clear search result. Well, you choose your class that you want to schedule and then, and then you choose the time here and then prefer start time. So you don't even have to worry about the cron format over here. You can schedule it from the user interface as well. Testing schedule apex. 
not much difference than the previous async apexes. So use the start test and stop test around the system schedule. So basically this is the sample code. First, we define the string for the cron expression and then we, de we define the, th uh, the method, the test method. And then we actually make a list. The date of the close date, we basically create a bunch of opportunities over here. And then we map it to a list here, the list of the IDs of the opportunities we have just created so that we can pass it on the on the um, on the job here. So test start test start test string job ID system dot schedule scheduled apex test and then you pass the cron expression and then you pass the the class remind of the owners right so then you do your assert equals over here make sure everything is good and done and then this is some um, now that the schedule job has executed check that our tasks were created yeah another assertion to make sure all the tasks were created properly so there is not much to it. This is basically a way to schedule any process or any code or Apex class you want to run. Okay, things to remember, you can only have 100 scheduled Apex jobs at one time and there are maximum number of scheduled Apex execution per 24 hour period. So if you, you're managing a huge organization, this would be something to remember, but for smaller organization, I don't think you will ever reach 100 scheduled Apex in 24 hour period. Use extreme care if you're planning to schedule a class from a trigger. Right, that makes sense. You must be able to guarantee that the trigger won't add more scheduled jobs than the limit because a trigger, it keeps triggering when there's a record update or whatever the triggers will trigger, right? So remember that. Synchronous web service callouts are not supported from scheduled Apex. Okay, so if you put, uh, you can't, you can't even save the code if you if you run a scheduled class and then you have a web service callout, it will not allow you to save it. I think yeah. And then what were we? Uh, remember that. So make an async callout by placing the callout. Yeah, async can be done. Make sure you that. You do that um, syntax and call this method from a scheduled apex. However, if your scheduled apex execute a batch job, callouts are supported from the batch class because it's already async, right? It's calling the batch. A batch is an async code, so that's that'll be fine. So that's it. So now I'm going to do the hands-on challenge together with you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom